Hey there, everybody. Hope everybody has been paying attention to what's going on out here and uh, how the looks like the feds are going to be raising the interest rate even more over the coming days. Um, another three quarters of a percent is what they are predicting. Um, things just aren't looking good, folks. If they do this, it's going to put us in a recession. If we're not already in a recession, if you know what I'm saying. Um, there's just so many things that are happening right now and you really need to try to, for number one, take a look at your budget and see where you can cut any money back at all possible. Um, you want to try to make sure you're trying to pay down some of your, your credit card bills. Um, cause those payments are all going to be going up. Now is not the time to be buying a home. Um, with these high interest rates and everything else, it it's just going to kill you. You're not going to be able to afford it. And it's the way that they're going to do this. And they, I think they want us in a recession just to turn around so that it slows everything that's going on down. And it's going to increase the food prices and all that kind of stuff. All those prices are going to rise. And... A lot of these companies, they're going to have to raise their prices and everything else to keep up with the high inflation and the prices that it's costing to move goods and everything else. It's just a nightmare, folks. So you really need to be paying attention to what's going on here. You know, because they're already releasing these little bits of information that it looks like the Fed will raise on their meeting coming up on the 14th and 15th of this month, they're going to start, you know, they want to raise them three quarters of a percent. Then we also have what's going on, you know, over between China with uh, Russia and all this and all the different threat levels that have been coming out. You know, you don't know what to believe. You don't know what's true. Um, there's too many uncertainties right now. And we are in the midst of a, hornet's nest and it ain't getting any better this is just getting a lot worse and i feel it's going to have to get worse before we can round the curve and hopefully things will start getting better now the fed did say that possibly if they can get this in check next year they might lower some of these interest rates but who knows? We don't know what's going to take place between now and then. The the WHO, they're having an emergency meeting today on the whole monkeypox uh, situation because they're saying that uh, it's spreading like wildfire. So, you know, you got another one of these viruses that is supposedly spreading all over the place. You know, they're warning people about, you know, we, there could be restrictions coming back again as far as like wearing a mask and all this kind of stuff. Um, I don't know where this is going. Uh, like I said, they're having their meeting today. It just seems like it's one thing after another. Um, we also have what is taking place out in California with all the truckers out there. And uh, I'm going to be doing a video on that coming up hopefully soon. Uh, because that's just a nightmare out there for those guys. And, you know, why are we attacking and going after the way that we move our goods and everything else? And why do we want to attack all these truck drivers? It just doesn't make sense. It really makes somebody think that there's a plot behind this whole mess. And why? I mean, really, if you sit back and you think about this, folks, why are they doing this? Why do they want to try to interrupt a system that is already broken, that is already behind and everything else? You know, I mean, maybe because they want to make sure the recession really goes into effect. And, you know, we have to figure out a way to deal with it. And it's their way of, you know what, putting the brakes on everything that we do, everything that we buy, what we can buy, 
you, you your money is going to be even more worthless when you go to the store to buy groceries. I would highly suggest that if you're in a position to go out and try to stock up on some food and basic necessities now before the prices even start going up even more because if they raise this another three quarters of a percent, Lord only knows what these stores and all these different type of people, what they're going to do and how much they're going to raise all these prices. And people can't afford what they have now. They can't afford to put food on the table. They can't afford the rent. They can't afford their mortgage anymore. They can't afford anything. And these are working class people. I don't know. You guys put in the comments below what you think you should be doing prior to them raising these rates over the next few days and coming up with a... Um, you know, a plan. What, what are, what are you going to be doing? Are you going to try to put up a little bit more food, pay down some credit cards, try to get out from underneath some debt or whatever? Hopefully to God, you're not buying a house right now. And if so, maybe you're locked in at a, a decent interest rate because after this next one, it's going to get to the point where you can't afford it. And we also had the federal government is also looking at taking and, and you know, how you can get a 30 year mortgage. They want to push it out to a 50 year mortgage so that you can afford the homes. <laughs> I'm survival preparedness for beginners. You all stay safe. You keep prepping. You better keep your eye on the ball in this one. You better come up with a plan and get moving on it. All right. You all stay safe. I'll talk to you on the flip side.